Hello there. Once again, it's Anton from Anton Obey. Today I'm looking at a dewdrop, dewdrop figure. Um, this I'm gonna just be upfront. I am completely unfamiliar with this wrestler at all. Um, however, during the uh, Ringside Collectibles clearance sale, uh, this character was was in there, and she was on clearance. And it's not somebody I'm familiar with. And you know what? It's a different body mold than I'm used to. So, for that reason alone, I was like, you know, I'm gonna get it. I'm just gonna snag it. It was cheap. I think it was like, uh, I think she was like eight dollars. Which, in fairness, a lot of a lot of figures were on sale for that price. So that's probably no no strike on her in any way. And I don't know what her story is because. I haven't watched uh, WWE for so long. I have absolutely no idea what's going on and I don't really care. I do still like a lot of the wrestlers and I do still like a lot of the action figures and I do still occasionally enjoy professional wrestling. However, as far as like a weekly show, if I'm gonna dig in and watch this um, and be hooked on it, it's not happening. I don't even have cable right now. I don't even have internet right now. All my videos are done on a phone these days. So, um, as, wow, that snapped back. As long as, uh, as long as we're being honest there, that's where I'm at. Um, I just saw this character and this figure and I was like, that is an interesting figure, uh, just for what it is. So I thought I'd give it a shot. It was inexpensive and here she is. And now take a look at her. And I'm thinking this is, Pretty new body mold all the way around. Um, I, you know, I'm kind of looking at this face sculpt though, and I gotta say, um, they're not really, they're not really nailing it. Maybe she looks kind of like not so great here. She looks much happier and much cuter in the in the pictures. Uh, like I said, it's hard to tell, and it's hard for me to tell just from the box because I haven't actually uh, seen a wrestler or, or anything like that. But as far as just on that sculpt wise. It's interesting sculpt because it's it's totally something different. You know, they make a heavier body mold uh, for the males that they use repeatedly. Like, uh, oh, who am I thinking of? The the Natural Disasters. Both those guys, I think, are running on, like, the same body molds. And I think Otis runs on a real similar body mold. And uh, there, there's a stocky boy body mold that they run with a lot of figures. Um, so I guess for them to make a completely new body mold for a figure is fairly rare. I know they made one for Nia Jax a while back, and clearly they've made a new one for Dewdrop, who has a, a very different figure than most most of their most of their wrestlers. So it was necessary to do so. However, they must have pretty high hopes on her because uh, her first release is, in fact, I think this was the first release. Does it say first time in the line? I don't see the call out on the box, but I'm guessing it's first time in the line because I haven't seen her anywhere else. Um, and they gave her an elite figure with accessories. So that's pretty high praise from, from Mattel, putting a character up that. It could just be body positivity stuff, but who knows? Um, I'm, not, I'm not hard on it either way or against it, I guess. However you want to put that. I'll let that slide. Anyway, as far as the figure goes, uh, articulation works great. The, the legs do seem slightly small at the top compared to the, the, the bulk of the hip. So it does give like a disconnect or break in the line there. And if you're going to make the figure this thick at the base, um, we probably need to see a little bit thicker leg to match up with it. That is, from what I can see, about my only complaint. That and the face sculpt looks less flattering than what the box and the package actually project. Other than that, of course, it's a WWE figure, so uh, and a Mattel figure at that. So the paint's good. The sculpt is, I'm gonna say, fair. It seems like anytime I have a problem with a, a Mattel WWE figure, it has something to do with their the way they did the legs. It, and I guess I have a Braun Strowman that has overly short arms. But other than that, since it has a cloth jacket, I'm gonna leave it on there. I'm gonna be happy with it. Comes with two extra hands. And for eight bucks and a completely different mold, even though it's a character I don't know, I'm pretty happy with it. Can't complain about it. So that's my story. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.